Hi, welcome to A Grey Barn Rising. I'm here with Bootsy, and I'm reading the poems this evening of the poet Bert Myers, who lived from 1928 to 1979. Bert Myers was part of the L.A. poetry scene. He was born in, in Los Angeles, and he uh, was part of this great community of poets uh, who gathered together primarily in the 50s and then in the 60s in Los Angeles, poets including Thomas McGrath, Gene Frumpkin, Alvaro Cardona Hein, Mel Weisberg, uh, uh, and others, William Pillen, and, and people like this. Bert Myers is a poet of deep imagistic reach. I would say that uh, his poems really focus on the image and on the image in a very distilled way. He's not surrealist, although there uh, comes into his poems a, a very interesting strangeness that is often very evocative. What happens in his poems is that the sparseness of language coupled with the intensity of imagery, well, his poems will often yield a strange juxtaposition or a strangeness. Again, there's that strange quality. I would not say it really tips over so far into the, the dream landscape of a surrealist poem, but it makes forays into that. I want to read from um, across a variety of his books, and I'd like to begin with his first book, appropriately entitled Early Rain. Uh, this book came out uh, in 1960, and I'm actually fortunate to not only have a first edition, but I have um, the first edition that Burt Myers uh, gifted Gene Frumpkin, his friend, a fellow L.A. poet with, that he, he gifted and inscribed to Gene. So I'm, I'm very grateful uh, uh, not only to have this Burt Myers book, but to have the exact book that uh, Gene Frumpkin read out of back in 1960. I'd like to begin with a poem entitled, In Those Hills. In those hills where I grew, time passed like the plants, acorn, and castor bean. By a tree, I found the deer that hunters left, a flower of ants in the bullet hole, and a root held its leap. There, sunlight came down a road, and green nature reddened at the tip. Yucca struck at the wind, turned dull and rusted in the fall. Lizards rose like steam upon the rocks, and snakes took off their clothes. Nothing's happened. The years go on under the grass. At night. At night, when the mouse is murdered by cheese, when the tired walls turn away, when the body can't stand anymore, then death parts my hair, and I don't want to die. I don't want to die. The asthma weeps. The asthma burns in its leaves. The medicines consult, aware of their labels, by the bed. But death comes out of the faucets, the floors, from the big clock that bleeds, weakening in its springs. It comes shoveling out my chest. And I don't know why, but I know the heart beats and beats a man to death. There's a, I wouldn't call it darkness, but there's a a kind of melancholy in Bert Meyer's poems. There's a, a sorrow that he approaches sometimes and that he explores. And I think you can hear that depth of layers of his psyche that he begins to uncover. Now it's Friday. I came for coffee to water my deep heart. Now it's Friday and my hands still hurt from Monday, Tuesday. But a cup of coffee is a big brown eye that looks at anyone. Where is the door 
that opens like a hug. When you're always alone at night, there are the stars. The sky is a plate of salt, and you wait, growing hard like a loaf of bread. I think I'll turn now to uh, the wild olive tree and the blue cafe. And both of these books appeared in separate volumes, but this volume brings them both together. This is a poet for the Hungarian poet Attila Yosef, and it's entitled These Days. These days, everything's bad. The future waits in a button. No one plans. Nobody says three years from now. Evening falls upon a porch, bloody, black and white. It opens like the paper. Someone bursts into flames. Winter, a grim warehouse delivers the wind. An angry truck rattles by. The inconsolable self, strumming its gas pedal, tuning up for the storm. Lies, so many lies, windows malignant with things, when at last the nail strangles the hammer, and even the ant howls. Then rifles, rockets, oh, what a time, what a time. And like an old ideal, the moon's been reached. A few astonished flies wrinkle the dust on its face. Be like the rain, it wears a ragged coat, and finds a lamp in the smallest stone and sings for nothing from street to street. The poem, is, as I mentioned, is, delicated, is dedicated to Attila Yosef, and he would be a, a poet that I would also recommend that, uh, that you could read as well. Here's, uh, I want to turn now to Sunlight on the Wall, beautiful book of uh, Burt Myers that Kayak Press put out many years ago. And here's a poem for Jean Frumpkin entitled GF. He's a law about to be broken, a man rippling at the edge. He edits news of a material world while under his tongue, intelligent nouns are preparing their adjectives for a view of the city without crime. This man encircles himself. His waist is his own embrace. His smile is a private door. I admire him for his agile fat, a mind like an animal's jaw his poems that escape from their chains. He awakens to books like birthdays. He tries to grow where he stands. He's a warm wall his daughter climbs. This man has put his ear to his heart and kept the secret. At the head of his round table, far from the ancient onion of mother, he settles between his shoulders to be a calm king of argument, though his castle burns and his people are alone. That's entitled GF. I mentioned it's for Gene Frumpkin. Of course, I'm assuming that there's no actual uh, dedication that says Gene Frumpkin, but so I wanted to clarify that for you. Some of these poems and others of, of Bert Meyer's work appeared in a book that his wife, Odette Myers, privately printed uh, just a few copies of for friends of Bert Myers uh, at the 20th anniversary of when Bert left the body. And so I want to read a few poems just from this beautiful book, uh, from this actual manuscript. Here's one entitled L.A. The world's largest 
ashtray, the latest in concrete, capital of the absurd, one huge studio where people drive from set to set, and everyone's from a different planet. For miles, the palm trees, exotic janitors, sweep out the sky at dusk. The gray air molds. Geraniums heat the alleys. Jasmine and gasoline undress the night. This is the desert that lost its mind. The place that boredom built. Freeways, condominiums, malls, where cartons of trash and diamonds and ideologies are opened, used, dumped near the sea. This poem was later revised, but I want to give you a, an earlier version of this poem called Picture Framing. Very short, evocative poem. My fingers graze in the fields of wood. I sand, pine, walnut, base, and sweat to raise their grain. I should give you that stanza again. Let me start the poem again. My fingers graze in the fields of wood. I sand, pine, walnut, bass, and sweat to raise their grain. Paints, powder, and brush are the seasons of my trade. At the end of the day, I drive home the proud cow of my hand. Bert Myers worked with his hands. Uh, he actually did not finish high school, but he was a very erudite man, and he, he, he enga engaged in some uh, professions that uh, required physical labor, but he also went on, he was so, such a brilliant, had such a brilliant mind, he went on to teach college uh, at one point, even though he uh, did not, was not formally educated uh, earlier on. But he went on and completed some other education and uh, uh, taught college. And I think I'll close with this poem, also from this manuscript, actually from, collected in this book, but it's also in another book, called Gently, Gently. We, too, began with joy. Then sickness came. Then, poverty. We were poor, so poor. Our children were our only friends. Gently, gently, through anger and pain, love justified itself like the nails in the house during a storm. Somehow, we created hope. Reliable drum in the shadow's wrist a tuning fork on the sidewalk of dreams. At night, I was the one who became a cello, strung with all our roads where memory hums to itself like a tire. And you, mad as a clarinet, where the street divides, a city of raindrops in a bush the slow honey that drips from the sky's old ladle. The reason I'm frightened of death, I swear by the wings love spreads at my waist that I'll carry your tune until my tired strings break. So those are just a few of the marvelous poems of Bert Myers, a wonderful poet, a lyric poet of deep imagery. Um, and I read from 20 poems, this privately printed book of, of Bert Myers, um, Sunlight on the Wall by Kayak Press, The Wild Olive Tree and the Blue Cafe. This was uh, Jazz Press, I think. Jazz Press and Papa Bach Editions joined together for this book. 
the old Alan Swallow book, his first book, Early Rain. And I'd like to mention that um, Burt's poems have also been collected in um, this book entitled In a Dybbuk's Raincoat. And this is from University of New Mexico Press. And it is, as I mentioned, it's the collected poem. So you can have a really nice gathering of all of these various books from which I, I read. And this book is, excuse me, readily available. I hope you seek Bert Meyer's work out. I think it's very profound and deep and rich. And I hope very much that you enjoyed my reading of his work this evening. Thanks so much for joining Bootsy and me for another episode of A Great Barn Rising.